Howdy folks, welcome back to Lu 404. Today we're taking a look at the finals. A team versus team, objective capturing, or should I say objective caching, game that's released on December 7th, 2023. Developed by Embark Studios. Let's get right into it. The long and short of the finals is that you're a contestant in a virtual battleground. Um, this is a virtual game show with audiences all around the arena. Um, the environment is virtual and is destructible. Um, you are competing against um, two to three teams and your objective is to grab a cash out box and deposit at the cash out location. Um, waiting for the cash out location to finish depositing. Um, and of course during this time any team can steal and by the end of the cash out, if your color is not on the deposit, you will lose that cash out reward. Alright, controls. Pretty typical here. Nothing too insane. Um, taking a look at the quick setting here. Gameplay. Oh, you got your crosshair outlines and whatnot. Um, controller I don't really use, so I left these at default. But uh, mouse and keyboard, I did change this a little bit. Uh, let me go ahead and set to default again. Um, sensitivity are not bad here. I, kinda, I think I, that is the default that I left it as. Um, jump interact. Um, pretty typical. You got your slide as well. Um, really nice. Reload, ping. Um, I would probably change the ping to something else. So it's freaky. I believe I change it to Q and then I switch my Q to something else. Um, I believe it's like. Um, Thing, XC or Z or something like that, but um, everything else pretty pretty typical, well, not not too bad. Uh, the defaults already do work uh, nicely. Um, I think I believe I changed the weapon to something else as well, and I have the gadgets one two three. Um, push the talk. Um, I think I just replaced that because I didn't really you know wanted a talking game or anything like that. Um, accessibility, you know, you got the same crosshair settings again not sure why they duplicated but okay audio um, I did turn this one down um, it was really loud when I first started the game so just watch out for that and the video um, it was based on your computer hardware but um, I did set mine all to epic and uh, it was quite smooth I didn't have any too much stutter or anything like that so it worked well um and gameplay wise, pretty nice and smooth. I would say, you know, no rubber bandy feel. Um, yeah, it's nice. Um, can change your class here. Obviously, I'm, I'm in the shooting range or, or the practice range. But uh, you can change your different size here. Um, just gonna go with the life now, just so I can kind of show you a little bit of movement. You have the slide if you run and crouch. Um, believe this is a jump pad. Yeah, there we go. Here. I don't remember how the melee of the first the default, but uh, community obviously. Um, and also a nice thing is you can actually grapple for the light class. Um, just know that if there's a ledge, um, when you grapple, you will kind of get stuck under that ledge. Um, here for example, if I can. This one was not too bad, it actually went over. That's nice. Um, but yeah, it's other classes have different uh, abilities and movement abilities. Um, the light has the grapple. Um, I don't remember what the medium has. I believe it's maybe like a smooth movement boost. But I know that the heavy has a charge, which um, you basically rush forward. And anyone you touch, basically, I think, believe you just get one hit KO'd. Um, Let's see if I can find out what the medium has. Oh, they have a guardian turret and a recon sense. So I guess the medium doesn't have a movement buff, but I know the heavy has this uh, special charge here. So you just kind of rush forward, and I believe if you touch any of the um, enemies, they'll, they'll just die instantly. Um, besides that, Gunplay is nice. Uh, there, there is a variety of guns, um, and uh, you obviously get different guns for different class. I'm just gonna call them class or, or build, but uh, 
Yeah, you don't. You can't use like you know a heavy weapon on a light guy, obviously. But um, let's just take a quick look at the guns. Let's see, there's quite a variety. You also have like daggers and knives and stuff like that, which is awesome. Um, fencing sword, um, grenades. I believe the grenades might be pretty typical for all all three classes. Um, and then uh, yeah, you get your little ability here um, specified to each class. This is the one for medium. Not as much as the light, but um, you know, whatever. We'll be up more later on, and also the heavy has a few weapons as well. Um, but uh, the light class, you, you do get the most uh, variety. Graphics. So first impression of this was very positive. Um, environment looks gorgeous. Surfaces, shading, lighting, uh, the foliage, everything looks um, really nice. I'm sure if this is a uh, Unreal 4 or 5, but um, definitely, definitely looks really good. Um, being that it's supposed to be a virtual arena, um, they definitely made it look really, really realistic, especially when the, the environment is breaking apart, um, being destroyed. Um, graphic wise, um, I believe the minimum requirement is an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti or a AMD Radeon um, RX 580. I um, believe a recommended is a um, 2070 um, RTX um, and then a Radeon RX of 5700 XT. Um, both using Direct X version 12. So be sure to have that um, installed. I believe the game will install that for you as well when you install the game, but um, just something to, to note. Um, other than that, you know, everything looks phenomenal. Um, when you kill another player and it turned into coins, I thought that was amazing. I, I love that. Um, the immersion of this game, of course, again, mentioning destructible environment. Very immersive, I would say. Um, and then, you know, the clarity of the game and, and performance. There's no glitches for me whatsoever, no graphical glitches. Um, other than, you know, destructible environment was falling apart and pieces get kind of stuck together here and there, but uh, nothing major. I only encountered that once or twice. Um, but clarity of the game, um, top notch, I would say. And uh, the gameplay was so smooth and uh, the graphic is keeping up. So really nice. I like it. All right, just quickly back in the arena here. Just wanted to show what the sound sound like. Pretty nice. Look, it has that impact feel to it. Um, so you got that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, got that foam sound as well. You have your grenades. To bang. You have your jump pad. So, you know, sound not too bad at all. Um, I like it. It has the impact sound of it. And... Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sound is, is pretty top tier for me in this game. Um, hey, you have your kind of ability. Well, I guess this one doesn't really have much sound, but uh, gravel hook. Yep, has that nice click to it. But yeah, you know, sound is, is nice. Um, music is nice as well. Um, again, um, if you noticed earlier, I just mentioned that uh, sound was really loud. Um, so in the beginning, make sure you, you turn it down um, a little bit, and uh, at least on your computer when you start the game. Um, but uh, yeah, no, gun sounds are nice. You know. Here. Oh my god, I wanted to go to throw in knives. It has that uh, nice metal bounce sound to it, which is super cool. I believe you hit something else, it doesn't bounce. Like, you can hear that wood sound. 
So yeah, when your knife hits different surfaces, it just makes different sound. Just awesome. Um, but yeah, sound is good. I, I like I like the sound in this game. And uh, yeah, music not too bad as well. It definitely puts you in the vibe to to compete. Um, and yeah, no, no glitches in the sound as well. So. Which is nice, no, no stutters or anything like that, no weird repeating like you're about to start DJing. Um, so yeah, I, I give it an A plus for sound. Replayability. Uh, for this game, I would say, you know, medium to high because you have, you know, Battle Pass Journey. Um, you have uh, quite a bit of pages here um, that you can unlock, a bunch of loot. Um, not a fan of, you know, obviously a paid and free Battle Pass. Um, journey, but uh, whatever. Um, of course, uh, also you can um, do some customization, character progression, unlock more guns, unlock more gadgets, abilities. Um, obviously, some some style, fashion stuff, um, body types, I um, clothes, um, also the emojis and stuff like that. Um, gestures, pets. I don't have too many right now, but I'm assuming they're gonna add more. But right now, you have two. Not sure what watch this is, um, been empty since the beginning, so I'm excited to see what uh, they come up with there. Um, and then of course, uh, amount of game modes, um, you have, you know, practice and obviously self-explanatory, so we'll skip that, but tournaments, um, after winning more rounds or something like that, you can unlock these. Um, and then quick play, you have your quick cash and bank it. I've been pretty much um, solely playing quick cash. I haven't really tried to bank it yet, but it uh, looks like just more teams. Um, it looks like uh, no wipes, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, the replayability, I'd say moderate to high, um, you know, similar to your other just shooter games. Um, and there you have it, folks. This is the finals. The gameplay, graphics, and sound were all fabulous. The concept and execution of this game was you know, top-notch, very unique. The virtual arena opens up a lot of opportunities for the devs to make a lot of crazy things. You can maybe even have like dinosaurs or something like that, something really unrealistic um, since it, everything's virtual. Um, the destructible environment was a good, good feature um, because it opens up a lot of skill tactics and you know when you shoot a rocket on a wall just to get to objectives or a grenade at a corner just to you know kill someone that's camping on the other side of the wall um, really awesome love, love that kind of stuff um, character progression is I feel like enough for now but you know definitely will need more soon um, especially when everyone is, is you know getting um, everything unlocked already um, so hopefully devs will come up with something something new like a you know, more guns for each class, more skills for each class. Skills are definitely, you know, lacking right now. I think you only have okay, like two or three for each class, so definitely not enough. The cosmetics, I, I you know, depends on the player. Um, some people don't care about it, but some do. But uh, unfortunately, a lot of it is locked behind real money currently. Um, I do believe you unlock more as you're leveling up your character or you're ranking up your character, but. Uh, no way to, to kind of save up your money to uh, you know, manually unlock any kind of cosmetic that you actually want. And uh, yeah, game modes, I think it's a really big topic here. There's currently only maybe two, two right now, the quick cash and the bank it. And then a third being, you know, the tournament. Really want to see them add more to that. Uh, maybe some solo queues, dual queues even. Uh, maybe some deathmatch, um, king of the hill, something like that. Kill confirm maybe. And anything like those would be would be awesome. Maybe even some co-op they could throw in there, right? Um, setting up like a crazy arena and co-op running to maybe even a dungeon or something. Like they could spin this any way they want. And, and I, I feel like it'll be it'll be fabulous. There you have it, folks. Again, the finals. As always, tell us what you think. This is a loot or pass for you. Drop a line in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell button to stay tuned with Loot 4.4. Until next time, loot on, gamers.